We're on the air, we're on the World Wide Web, and this is Radio Entrepreneurs. My name is Jeffrey Davis, and if you want to talk to me about Radio Entrepreneurs, you can find me at the email address of jdavis at mageusa.com. Uh, today on our show, I have our co-host, our reporter, Peter Morrison from the law firm of Cohn, Rasnick, Morrison, and Plout. Welcome it, back, Peter. Thank you, Jeffrey. It's great to be here. Thank you very much. As always. Uh, I, I just want to tell you our next guest is Dave Torano and uh, of JCE Group. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Thanks for having me. You That's too, Peter. That's my pleasure. <laughs> uh, we're, we're both uh, hosting you right now. Can you tell us about JCE Group? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we are a training and coaching organization uh, working with small to mid-sized businesses, uh, primarily providing coaching for executives and business owners and customized sales training and coaching for sales managers and salespeople. It's a pretty broad topic. It so, is. So How much of it is coaching? Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, for sales, let's say. For sales, you know, ironically, I mean, my background is a, as a sales guy, but ironically, most of the coaching I do is at the executive level. Uh, I also coach, I do a fair amount of coaching with sales management professionals as well. Um, there are a handful of salespeople that I'm coaching right now, but primarily, again, it's at the executive level. That's interesting. How did you get there? I mean, how did you get to JCE? What's your background? What's my background? I'm a guy who couldn't get a job when I got out of school back in uh, 93. Like, uh, like all the rest of the people. Yeah, all there. exactly. So I, I, uh, I, I graduated from Stonehill back in 93. I, I worked in the restaurant business for a couple of years because I was lost and, and confused and uh, ended up taking a job with a small mortgage company back in the uh, mid-90s after that for a couple of years. That's how I got into sales. And then following that, I, I got into the staffing industry, spent 12 years with an organization as an inside guy, then an outside guy, uh, opened an office for them down in the mid-Atlantic, uh, lived down in Virginia for a couple of years, and got into sales management after that with the same firm, got into consulting after that, and decided I want to do my own thing. So that's what I ended up doing. So did you start the firm? Sorry. I did. I did. 18 months ago, I finally, you know, I, I think I had told enough people uh, over the last five years that I ultimately want to do my own thing to the point where I couldn't not do it. So, uh, yeah, th uh, eight, 19 months ago, I decided that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I've, got, I've got three little, uh, the, the company's named after my kids. Uh, the, na the initials are my, my, my kids' initials. Um, and I decided that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, that, that's, that's the deal. I, at the end of the day, it's, it's a role that I played even when I was an individual contributor, especially in sales. I, I did not naturally, uh, I wasn't a natural salesperson earlier in my career, and I struggled with it. Um, but once I started to figure it out and, and start to uh, achieve a little success, I got a lot of, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I felt really good when, when new people would come to the firm and I was able to help them out. So that's kind of how I got a taste for it. Um, the company would hire new people. that they'd, they'd have them sh you know, ride along with me or observe me. Same thing happened as a manager. And then ultimately when I stepped out, I joined a small uh, consulting f company after the, after the staffing world and got into it. And I just, you know, at the end of the day, I love, I love building confidence in people. Uh, I love helping them improve their communication skills and, and, and getting unstuck is basically, uh, is basically what I do. 